Mathematics 1, Specimen Examination, 2017, Question A1. Determining the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of the following set of numbers. The first thing we want to do is to find all of the prime factors of each of the numbers. So, 7,350 is divisible by 2, giving us 3,675. That's obviously not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, giving us 1,225. That's not divisible by 3, but it is by 5, giving us 245. Divide that by 5, we get 49, which is obviously 7 squared, so we get 2 sevens. So all of the prime factors of 7,350 are 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7. So we do the same for 6,860 and 2,700. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of the factors on a table, giving one column for each factor. So we've got two columns for 2, we've got three columns for 3, we've got two columns for 5, and we've got three columns for 7. So let's create the table. We've got two columns for 2, three for 3, two for five and three for seven and each of the numbers has got a factor of two which is the first column there only two of the numbers have got a second two so we don't have a second two for seven thousand three hundred and fifty we've got three threes in twenty seven hundred which are here but there's only one three in seven thousand three hundred and fifty and none in six thousand eight hundred and sixty We've got two fives in 7,350 and in 2,700, but only one in 6,860. And we have three sevens in 6,860. To find the lowest common multiple, we take the full columns. So we've got a full column there of twos, and we've got a full column here of fives, which means that the highest common factor is 2 times 5, which is 10. To find the least common multiple, we multiply all of the columns. That's to say, all the 2s, all the 3s, all the 5s and all the 7s. And that gives us 926,100. And that's the answer to part A. Part B, use a valid technique to show your answers are correct, which is also the sanity check. So what we're going to do now is we're going to divide each of the original numbers by 10 and then factorise what's left. So 7,350 divided by 10 gives us 735, and the factors of that are 3, 5, 7 and 7. We do the same for 6,860 and for 2,700, and we look at the factors that are left. So we've got 3, 5 and 7, 2 and 7, so 3 doesn't occur here, neither does 5. 2 occurs in these two numbers, but not in the first one which means there are no more common factors. So that says that each of the original numbers is divisible by 10, and there are no other common factors of what's left. So therefore we have found the highest common factor. For the lowest common multiple, we're going to divide 926,100 by each of the three original numbers and then factorize what's left. So dividing 926,100 by 7,350, we get 126, which factorises to 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. We do the same for the other two numbers. And then we look for any common factors there may be. 2, 3, 3, 7, 3, 3, 3, 5, and just 7s. So 2 isn't a common factor, 3 isn't a common factor, 5 isn't a common factor, and 7 isn't a common factor which means that 926,100 is divisible by all of our three original numbers, so they are all factors, and there are no other common factors, so that means that 926,100 is the lowest common multiple of our original three numbers. So we can see that our answer is correct.